Hi, my name is Robin and I'm going to say a few words about Bike Fix Sunday. So firstly, what is Bike Fix Sunday? It's a community-led, grassroots, voluntary project to help people fix their bikes. It does what it says on the tin. Every Sunday, or at the moment, every other Sunday, we use premises that have been made available to us by Latch, and we go out and fix bikes. It's not like a bike shop where you turn up and we take your bike, and then a day or so later, or maybe several weeks at the current rate of bike repair. You get your bike back, it's not like that. You turn up and we teach you how to fix your bike. We don't do major repairs. We focus on small issues. And to be fair, I'd say about 90% of the issues that we find in the Chapel Town area are related to small issues. Stuff like, uh, bikes being punctured, or maybe especially with kids' bikes doing loads of skids, the outer tyre is damaged and we need to replace the outer tyre. So if you've got an issue with your brake or something's not quite right with your bike, you can turn up. If you've got a major issue, we may not be able to help, but we can take a look and help you diagnose it and maybe even point you in the right direction to help get it fixed. How does it benefit the community? Bike Fix Sunday has massively benefited the community. We're a small project, but we've been operating for over a year, and I'm gonna say a little bit about how we've been operating in a bit, but we have we focus on the local area. We're not big on advertising really far and wide, so I think a lot of the people that have found out about the project, it's been through word of mouth, and I can say we've changed people's lives only in a small way, but having a bike can really make a big difference. It gives you opportunities that you wouldn't have before. It can give you confidence and it can give you transport. And at the moment with the high oil prices and other issues, bike, having a bike can, can make a big difference. We've also found that People have got to know us, so we've been working in the same area just outside the coach house. And yeah, I can say there's a little bit of a community building up. We see the same people and they always pass by and say hi. So that's a really good thing. So yeah, it's benefiting the community in many ways. At the moment, as I say, we're only opening every other Sunday because we don't have enough volunteer capacity. We've all got other things going on. So I've got a young child, so I can't commit every single Sunday, but we're hoping to get more volunteers involved. So if you'd like to get involved and we get more volunteers, it may be possible for us to open every Sunday. How did we end up using the coach house and what benefits have there been from becoming a community partner with Latch? That's a really good question. So Latch has made the space available. Bike Fix Sunday would not be possible without Latch in, involved. So in short, um, Latch has been hugely important to what we're doing. How did it come about? Well, it was through a chance encounter with Mark Stainton, who works at Latch. And he mentioned the fact that there was a community space and was asking around for community projects. At that time, I had been doing bike repair projects in my backyard, and I was thinking about the possibility of making it a bit more formalized and making it into a community space. And that's exactly what Latch has enabled. They have supplied the space, really important resource, but they've also supplied tools they've funded us and they've provided a lot of uh, provided a lot of support with social media and also getting the word out to the wider network and also latch has a community of its own so some of the members of latch have benefited from our services and latch is also part of the community and i've seen people who've benefited from the bike fix sunday project say oh that's great that latch we know latch isn't it great that they've given you the space so massive thumbs up to, to Latch for making this possible. In terms for plans for the future, 
Um, yeah, my my aim personally would be to open every Sunday. That would be great, and then people wouldn't have to kind of worry about if we're opening or not. If they want to get their bike fixed and it's Sunday, they should be able to. Um, I should say we open two till five p.m. just outside the coach house on uh, back Potter Newton Grove. Uh, back Newton Grove is where where we're at. So those are the main questions, and I'm just gonna. Um, I've just been looking at the history of Bike Fix Sunday um, for for this uh, little video. So I'm just gonna make myself smaller, and hopefully it's gonna work. So yeah, this is our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook. We're called Bike Fix Sunday Leads, and I've gone back in time to find the first ever. Uh, bike fix Sunday that we did which I believe was early August 2021 and there's a photo of us um, it was a really good session we fixed up bikes for people and um, yeah people had a good time so um, that's basically what we do fast forward to now and you can see I'm just about to post on the Facebook group that we did a session last Sunday the 4th of September 2022 so we've been going for roughly one year and one month and we're really happy about it the next session is going to be in two weeks time on Sunday the 18th so this also shows that there's other ways to get involved it's not just about fixing bikes we need people to help out with different parts of the project there's the admin to make sure we're kind of um, keeping a record of how many bikes we're fixing there's also the social media like what I'm doing so if you're into that kind of stuff and you've got some skills and you've got some time and you're into bike fixing um, definitely get in touch so we have a website um, which I can show you now um, which is uh, currently uh, bikefs.github.io uh, ls7 Hopefully we'll get a, a, a better domain soon. And we've got a little bit of a calendar there as well showing when we're going to be open. So that's about it from me. Um, I hope that's been useful learning about the project. And yeah, it's a great project. Very glad to be involved in this. I'm looking forward to seeing how many bikes we can fix in the future in Chapel Town. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.